If you're anything like me, you've been wanting an alternative to Windows for quite some time, but Linux's lack of support and general jankiness has been a big hurdle for you. One of my biggest hurdles has been getting Adobe Premiere Pro running under Linux. Seeing as Adobe has no plans to support Linux in the future, and virtual machines being the giant headache that they are, my dreams of escaping Microsoft's firm grasp have seemed ever more distant by the day. But not all hope is lost. I wrote, recorded, and edited this video entirely without touching a Windows computer, and I can show you how to do that too. Here's a quick, no bullshit guide on how to get Adobe Premiere Pro running on your Linux computer today. Now I wrote this guide assuming that you're running something similar to my configuration, but in theory you should be able to do this on most any computer. But for the highest chance of success, you should probably follow my configuration as closely as possible. I'm running Bazite, I have an NVIDIA GPU, and I'm using the Flatpak version of Bottles. Alright, here we are on my Bazite desktop, I'm using the NVIDIA edition available on the Bazite website. And I'm going to be using this tutorial right here, but I'm going to be adapting it for uh, Bazite and uh, Bottles on Flatpak. So if you don't have it already, uh, you're going to need the Bottles program. Uh, you can simply just get this from Bazaar, which is Bazite's uh, Flatpak uh, store of choice. I'm just going to go ahead and click the search bar up the top left corner and type in Bottles, and it'll prompt you to install, and it'll just go ahead and download. All you're going to need to go ahead and continue this is a completely 100% legally obtained copy of Adobe Premiere Pro. And you're going to need these three DLL files, of which I'll provide a download in the description. You're going to need the latest version of NVIDIA graphics libraries, of which I'll also put in the description. And that should be all you need to go ahead and get this working. So you're going to go ahead and open bottles. Go ahead and create a new bottle. I'm going to select application because we're going to be optimizing it for productivity software. And I'm going to change the runner from soda to system wine 10.0. And once it's done, you should be put in the screen right here. Um, one thing you're going to have to change is you're going to change Windows 10 to Windows 8. Then what you're going to do is go back up here. You're going to press Browse Files, go to Windows, System 32. Then you're going to take the three DLL files that we have right here. Just go ahead and copy and paste them in here and then just overwrite when it prompts you. Then you're going to go back up to the C drive, go to Program Files, create a new folder called Adobe, and go ahead and copy and paste. Adobe Premiere Pro into that folder. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and enter the Adobe Premiere directory. Then what you're going to do is you're going to search for two DLL files. One of them is going to be ICUIN69, and the other one is going to be right next to it, ICUU69. Just go ahead, copy and paste these, and remove 69 from the names of both of these files. And what you should be left with is four of these files right here. Then you can go ahead and close out of your file manager. Go ahead, add a shortcut for Adobe Premiere Pro under the C drive, program files, Adobe, Adobe Premiere Pro, and Adobe Premiere Pro.exe. Then uh, we need to add a DLL override for one of our DLL files. So we're going to go to Legacy Wine Tools, Configuration, and it should open this tiny window right here. If having a small UI like this bothers you, um, you can go ahead and close that out, go to Settings, Go to Advanced Display Settings right here, and then just adjust this value until you find something that works for you. Since I'm downscaling 4K to 1440p, the, the value that works for me is 150, so I'm just going to go ahead and click Save, go back, and once I re-enter the configuration, it should go ahead and show up as a normal size for me. And then all you're going to do is go to Libraries, go ahead and type in this text box right here, MSXML3, Press add and it should show up right down here at the bottom. Just click apply and OK. Then all you got to do is go ahead and go to the NVIDIA libraries and open the terminal in this folder. Then what you're going to want to do is go ahead and run that bottle setup script. Um, once you enter it the first time, it's going to list all of the bottles that you have in your bottles flat pack. And then all you have to do is run that script again. All you're going to have to do is type the name of your desired bottle after you run the script. Just like so, just type Adobe Premiere Tutorial, Oops. and you shouldn't have to install the experimental version of NB API. And then after you've done that, you can just go back to settings, enable discrete graphics, make sure that DLSS is off and Fidelity FX is off, then come back out here, go to the launch options for Adobe Premiere Pro, and make sure that VKD3D is disabled. And once you've done that, you can go ahead and just press play and then it should open two windows there is a bit of a graphical bug but you should be able to close that first window open a new project and just to show you it works i'm going to go ahead and import a video and show you that i can go ahead and scrub through it just like i would 
Playback works completely fine, and there you have it, a completely functional version of Adobe Premiere Pro right inside your Linux desktop. Enjoy!